you know, our friend Austin Russell and Luminar made another big announcement this week. You and I have been super on top of automotive. Cool announcement, one that we probably can get through pretty quickly, though. Yeah, it is. So um, if you don't know who uh, Luminar is, they are the leading provider of LiDAR solutions. Uh, LiDAR is essentially laser beams that work alongside of radar, which is uh, kind of shorter range and uh, visual systems or, or cameras for safety systems and uh, in the future, self-driving cars. There was a lot of debate about LiDAR, essentially uh, uh, Elon Musk essentially saying it's, it's a folly and he's not going to be using LiDAR. Well, uh, when Elon said that, you know, LiDAR was 10x more expensive than it was today and had that big giant, looked like a uh, an old cop siren on the top of, uh, of of an old Chevy cop car, and you still see the big spinning globe uh, on top today, particularly in robo taxis. But Luminar has uh, enabled not only to reduce the cost on that by by 10x, but you barely even notice that it's there. Uh, the Volvo design was was the best, but I, I digress. Uh, Volvo did a big deal with them. Uh, they did a, an amazing demo at CES, which my son took a video on. You and I were both there, went viral. M millions of views of the Tesla running over the fake child running across the street, occluded by a car. Now we here are here we are with Mercedes, and you can see a very smiling Austin in, in this picture next to the uh, chief supply chain guy from Mercedes. They have done a deal together, and Mercedes even made a an investment uh, in the company. No details about cars. You can see between the two gentlemen, there is a car with a sheet on it, uh, which obviously is one of the cars that uh, that has it. One thing that I noticed, and this is a subtle thing, Daniel. I don't know if you saw this. There's no bulging sensor that you would expect to come out of the roof with LIDAR. And I don't know exactly what that means. Um, you know, have they, has, has uh, Luminar and Mercedes found a way to shrink the sensor even more? Or am I just way looking too into what could be a fake development car behind them? Yeah, so as you've seen, I believe in the Volvo XC90 um, that LiDAR, uh, the LiDAR technology from Luminar, they showed it. It's on the, uh, it's it's front facing, forward facing, and it's on the windshield, and it sits just below kind of where the mirror is, uh, and it's actually, it's about this, you know, for anyone that's looking, I can't really give you, but it's, you know, it's about the size of a, maybe a small, you know, a wheat thins box or something that goes up there, right? And it's actually no longer on the roof. So that's been a big part of uh, the whole story from Luminar is making these things less ugly. Um, you know, I did see there was a humongous stock uh, deal within this for Mercedes. Um, by this time this morning, they're probably down on it. But <laughs> these companies don't make these <laughs> kinds of deals for the long term. So there, there it is, Pat. You see, it's just a tiny little yeah. sort of on the windshield. It's gotten much better, much prettier, and it's getting much smaller. The, you know, Intel is using this with Mobileye right now as they're in the process of using it and developing their own uh, LiDAR, but Volvo's doing it, Mercedes doing it. Look, you know, I, I, I got a research note I'm publishing this morning on it, and long and short here is that Luminar continues to be disruptive. We've seen it, Pat. We've witnessed it. We've actually been in the car and experienced it. Technology is good. It's interesting. It's disruptive, and I think they're either going to be A, you know, they're going to be a much, much bigger and larger player participating in many, many more of these large companies, future safety and L4 tech, L4 plus L4 technologies, or they're going to end up getting acquired by a mega chip company that's going to need this technology. Um, and if the market stays compressed, that could be an opportunity. Although knowing Austin, I think he's got a vision to build this thing. So I don't, I don't necessarily see that happening. 